Mother of the Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny has been refused access to his body for a third day. His representatives say she was not allowed to enter the mortuary near the remote Arctic prison where he suddenly died last week. The Navalny family representative said Alexei's mother and her lawyers arrived at the morgue early this morning, but they were not allowed to go inside. One of the lawyers, they say, was pushed out. When the staff were asked if the body was there, they didn't give an answer. Well, the announcement of Alexei Navalny's death has sparked international outrage. The UK Foreign Secretary Lord Cameron said there should be consequences. And the US President Joe Biden has said that Vladimir Putin is to blame. Well, Navalny's widow Yulia is due to address European foreign ministers in Brussels today on the invitation of the EU's foreign policy chief, Joseph Borrell. The BBC's chief international correspondent, Lise Doucette, spoke with him about the significance of the invitation and the wider concerns around Russia and Ukraine. It is a way of uh, first honouring Navalny, secondly, uh, express our, our deep sorry for this death, and third, and maybe the most important thing, is to provide uh, a voice to the Russian opposition. Because in Russia there are people who want to live in freedom, as you and me. And these people have been fighting together with Navalny. And many, which are uh, anonymous, has also been sent to jail, and maybe dead. And these people deserve support. That's Joseph Burrell. Well, let's speak to our Eastern Europe correspondent, Sarah Rainsford, who joins us live now. Sarah, the suggestion is that some kind of investigation is taking place and that that has been extended. What do we know for sure? Well, this is a comment that's come from Kira Yamash, who is Navalny's spokeswoman, and she has said exactly that, that the investigative committee, a very powerful body in Russia, has uh, informed the family that its investigations, its inquiry is ongoing, it's continuing. There's no time frame for when it might finish, and there are even no interim results, so no official uh, word on why exactly Alexei Navalny died on Friday afternoon. Uh, and so all we have for now still is the prison service's initial statement, which says that he was out, they say, for a walk in the prison uh, facilities at the prison there, and that he collapsed suddenly and he died because medics couldn't resuscitate him. So very, very little information coming forward. Also, Alexei Navalny's mother, who has been up in the Arctic region for, for several days now trying to get access to her son's body, has been refused access to the mortuary uh, where she thought his body was being held, but where, in fact, staff have not even confirmed that basic fact. And that's why all of Navalny's team are now extremely concerned and they're accusing the authorities of essentially covering up what's happened, trying to cover up what's happened by deliberately delaying uh, the entire process. And what's the continuing international reaction to that? Well, I think there is, of course, concern. And it's interesting that today, Yulia Navalnaya, you know, even at this most hideous time for her as a as a wife, uh, now as a widow, uh, she is in Brussels and she'll be speaking to EU foreign ministers today to try I think, to keep pressing home the message that Alexei Navalny's family and his friends and his team believe that whatever happened, however Alexei Navalny actually died on Friday, they hold the Russian authorities directly responsible for everything that's happened to him. And I think, you know, the fundamental thing to remember in all of this is that Alexei Navalny was in prison because of his political position, because he was the most vocal, the most obvious, the most powerful rival to Vladimir Putin. And he was first poisoned in 2020 with a nerve grade, uh, with a weapons grade nerve agent, Novichok. And when he survived that and went back to Russia, he was thrown in prison. And he was, he was there serving extremely long consecutive prison uh, sentences, charged on, on multiple charges. But essentially, he was in prison because of who he was and because of his politics.